ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಸಿಐಟಿ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಆವಿಷ್ಕಾರವಾದ ಕಾಫಿ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ ಕೇರ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಕೊಡಗು ಮೈಸೂರು ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದ ಸಂಸದ ಯದುವೀರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣದತ್ತ ಚಾಮರಾಜ ಒಡೆಯರ್ ಅವರಿಂದ ಲೋಕಾರ್ಪಣೆ ಕೂರ್ಗ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಗೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷದ ಸಂಭ್ರಮ ಕೊಡಗಿನ ಪೊನ್ನಂಪೇಟೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆರಂಭಿಸಿರುವ ಪ್ರಪ್ರಥಮ ಖಾಸಗಿ ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಎಂಬ ಹೆಗ್ಗಳಿಕೆ ನೂತನ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನದಿಂದ ಕಾಫಿ ಬೆಳೆಗಾರರಿಗೆ ಕಾಫಿ ಬೆಳೆಯ ಇಳುವರಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಸುವ ಮತ್ತು ಗುಣಮಟ್ಟ ಕಾಯ್ದುಕೊಳ್ಳುವ ಕುರಿತು ಅಗತ್ಯ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಲಭ್ಯ ಅಂಗೈಯಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ಪ್ರಪಂಚದ ಕಾಫಿ ಬೆಳೆಯ ಮಾರುಕಟ್ಟೆಯ ಮೌಲ್ಯವನ್ನು ಕ್ಷಣಾರ್ಧದಲ್ಲಿ ತಿಳಿಯಬಹುದಾಗಿದೆ ಎಂದ ಸಂಸದರು ಪ್ರತಿಭಾವಂತ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ವೃಂದ ಮತ್ತು ನುರಿತ ಪ್ರಾಧ್ಯಾಪಕ ವೃಂದದಿಂದ ಯೋಜನೆಯ ವಿನ್ಯಾಸ ಸಿಐಟಿ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಶೈಕ್ಷಣಿಕ ಮತ್ತು ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದ ಅಭೂತಪೂರ್ವ ಸಾಧನೆ the coffee crop care mobile app here at your wonderful institution i have heard much of the kurg institute of technology i haven't had the good fortune of visiting here and uh, i think on such an august occasion it is indeed an honor to tour this wonderful campus being in the lovely environs of kodugu i think uh, the students and the teachers here are most blessed people and in learning and incubating such wonderful ideas in the surrounding environment and uh, contributing so much to our own development here i think is indeed uh, must be a wonderful experience and uh, i can say that you know if i had a chance to come again certainly i would definitely consider this as one of the top places to come nonetheless because it is in our kodugu as well we of course started the day by launching the incubation center by kokend robotics uh, much needed especially in kodugu which has problems which are unique to kodugu itself and the tradition of our times is that solutions have to be home grown nobody is coming to help us and in india a country which always we speak of diversity as our strength it is going to continue to be our strength only if we start solving local issues locally itself and the key center or a key institution within that is an incubation center itself because today's problems or problem statements that can be given should be directed to our incubation centers where our very talented students are and with the guidance of their teachers they will be able to solve these local issues themselves so i'm really proud that this incubation center has come up here i'm sure that uh, already looking at of course the launch of the crop care app we did Uh, lovely solutions will come out of here those that will benefit kodugu and i'm sure our entire state and country as well congratulations on that aspect secondly of course the coffee crop care app i had a very brief interaction with it just now but from what i understand and what i've seen it is a tremendous help to all of those who have plantations here who are farmers here in kodugu and of course various parts of karnataka state not just kodugu which grows coffee will be able to utilize this app to better curate the requirements for growing coffee and better understand the environment that they are surrounded with and at the same time have all their costs and budgeting etc set up so that they can have a more efficient uh, coffee growing experience or a better agricultural work uh, when they do so so my many congratulations to both the kodava education society as well as open robotics on this wonderful initiative and i hope it is the start of many more so to come here in order ladies and gentlemen as i'm sure you are all aware over the last 10 years india has moved away from just the slogan of very be hata or removing the poor towards now building a self reliant futuristic and viksit bharat the building block of this viksit bharat which has the dream of our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi is self reliance self reliance is the key if we are to go forward again our solutions have to come by ourselves itself india is uniquely placed in the world with the changing geopolitics with the changing environment world over to take advantage to come back to the forefront as we were during ancient times that we were a culturally advanced society nobody has any doubt 
but we need to catch up as well in terms of economic development. Over the last 10 years from an uncertain economy, we've come into now what is a strong fifth largest world economy and we're going to move forward towards becoming a completely economically developed country. And the part to be played by our students and of course our teachers in rearing those students who come into the future is tremendous. The building block for this being again self-reliance, our incubation centers, our startups, our entrepreneurial activity, our sense of innovation has to be reared from a very young stage. In fact, more so impetus has to be given there and encouragement given so that these ideas when you are young and willing to take chances, willing to take risks, are given the utmost promotion, the utmost uh, amount of encouragement at that stage. And such incubation centers, I think, play the most crucial role there because it gives a chance for the students to really take risks in an environment which allows them to take risks. And I think that, that role being played here for the, at the Purg Institute of Technology will contribute greatly towards this aspiration. Kodugu in itself, of course, has tremendous potential in this area. The unique aspect here of being a very, of course, again, culturally advanced society, a very knowledgeable society, but at the same time still holding on to its as well. I think that's a uniquely place which a lot, many more of India doesn't have. Your solutions which you can inculcate here given the fact that you want to preserve the environment of Kodugu, you want to preserve the agrarian atmosphere in Kodugu, you want to preserve the fact that you are living alongside what is megafauna in the forests around you. All of those solutions can come from your incubation center. Problem statements are many. I myself can give you 10. Man-animal conflict is there. We have, of course, the climate resiliency that's required in terms of technology of building, in terms of cropping as well. So the problem statements are many. And the solutions, you are uniquely placed given the fact that the issues are right on your doorstep. So you can experience the issue, you can experiment with solutions, and you can come up with the right solution right here in Kodo. So it is indeed, I think, well placed that it's happening here. And I'm sure the students will give us all the solutions and we as your representatives will give every bit of push you require from every which way to ensure that it is implemented and we build a robust, strong and futuristic Kodugu that is very much still entrenched in its tremendous and uh, uh, absolutely wonderful tradition and environment here in Kodugu. So that is our commitment here and I'm sure you all will all join hands towards this effort we are, of course, inviting you all to please take part in the various entrepreneurial activity that's happening in Mysore as well that should extend to Kodagu. Kodagu, again, can play a unique role in that aspect. Mysore looks to be a supporting pillar to Bangalore, but not all of it can be sustained by Mysore. The agri-tech, perhaps even the food tech, and certainly this climate resiliency aspect can be something that Kodagu harbors and is given the utmost encouragement from here, given the fact that you all are the ones experiencing these issues much more than us. So I invite you all to be part of this endeavor and certainly as your representative I will give all the help that is required towards moving this along as well. Again, I can uh, only state what an honor it is to be here amongst all of you here today, uh, this wonderful college. We look forward to many much more so collaborations and being a part of all of your activities here. I give my very best to all of the students here and best wishes to them as I've understood you all have uh, contributed tremendously in this coffee crop care mobile app as well and I'm sure more contributions are going to come from you. So the very best wishes to all the students here and of course to the teachers in encouraging such futuristic activity, such uh, innovative activity. I think uh, all hats off to you as well towards doing such work and uh, to the administration and to ensuring that such an environment is available and that uh, it is happening in Kodagu and taking the initiative that it should happen in Kodagu is I think laudable in itself. So my congratulations to the President and all of the administration as well here. My thanks to you all for inviting me here for this wonderful program and giving me a chance to inaugurate both the incubation center and the coffee crop care app. Saying that and my best wishes again to everybody. Jai Hind, Jai Karnataka. moment for us to have amidst us a young, dynamic individual representing our district as well as myself, uh, Sri Yadavir Vodhya. 
you heard him. He said, he said a few things, but in the one sentence, if I sum it up, it says, God helps those who help themselves. It is up to us to find solutions and implement it. That is the bottom line. I think that would be the easiest way of putting it. All the conflicts are there. All the uh, problems of the rural area are there. But nothing is beyond our reach and the ability to solve. And that's exactly what we have to do in future. And uh, we are very grateful that you have uh, offered your help to us. Being an institution in a rural area is never easy. But with support from people like you, as well as uh, our alumni like Darshan, who have come forward to put up the incubation center, it is a terrific advantage to all the students as well as staff. I sincerely hope and uh, insist as the president that the staff and students should make the best use of the opportunity given to you all here. Don't keep uh, grumbling that I am not studying in the city. You are studying in a far better place. You have more opportunities and you have, more, you have greater ability to solve issues in this place. And uh, Darshan, we are indeed very happy that you are with us today and I'm sure the students will be benefited greatly from all this. Uh, with these few words, I once again congratulate Yadavi Kodiya for being elected as our representative. And may God bless you with a long run and a very grateful and very hopeful to the people of your constituency. Thank you. Institute, I am Dr. Chohan Lohanath here. And it gives me, um, it all started with a purpose. Uh, initially, we wanted to just do a, a training exercise with the latest te technology that my, I use with my clients, and which created an employment opportunity for the uh, real thing projects that we have. Which again, uh, we stepped into because with this training exercise, we saw a lot of ideas coming in. and. Uh, Primarily, what what's the, what the right startup idea? The right startup idea is something that it will impact a maximum number of people and it can be done by minimum amount of time and minimum amount of cost. So this uh, incubation sector, uh, we see we are going to foster a lot of entrepreneurship. Um, I see uh, if I had this facility in my college days, probably I would have been an entrepreneur much earlier in my life. Uh, this is a new trend where uh, coming up with ideas and getting the VR mentorship here, we will have panels to select the right ideas uh, which will actually solve any uh, real time, real uh, purposes and uh, which will help us create more entrepreneurs in this region which eventually will get more jobs uh, in the region and also create a, uh, the vision is pretty high even to talk about a smart city where everything can be self-sustained uh, and we can take a model of a small village here, even that most of us, uh, we can see they're sending the kids to uh, abroad, they're preferring working across. Uh, this is completely disrupted today. The technology is completely disrupted today. What worked in the past is not mandatory work in the future. Uh, but uh, I take immense pleasure, pleasure being here and being part of this journey. And this is just a start. Uh, we look forward, at least 50% of our internship projects that we do here will be practical internship, will not be paid or uh, uh, theoretically uh, you know, delivered. And uh, we'll also work towards the community and region here. Uh, we'll make sure all the small and medium scale industries and uh, who couldn't afford automation or any technology are well aware of it. Uh, we look forward for it. Maybe we'll connect maybe in the near future again and talk about the achievements that we have done through this uh, center hub that we are creating in CID. Thank you, Google uh, of Technology, uh, and also our MP sir, uh, who will also mentor us uh, in this initiative going forward. Uh, thank you so much for the now. Hi, hello. Nanu Nimma Kanna Thanda Bina Jagdish. Kudugu Dwani Digital Media Dinda. Namma channel na like maadi, share maadi, subscribe maadi.